Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Polygamy in Islam. Polygamy within the context of Islam pertains to the practice where a Muslim man is permitted, according to Islamic law, to have multiple wives concurrently, up to a maximum of four. This principle is explicitly outlined in the Quran, the sacred text of Islam, specifically in Surah An Nisa, chapter 4, verse 3. In case you fear that you might not treat the orphans justly, then marry the women that seem good to you, two or three or four. If you fear you will not be able to maintain equity, then one. The pivotal requirement for engaging in polygamy under Islamic principles is that a man must treat all his wives equitably and fairly. However, it's worth noting that the Quran acknowledges the difficulty of maintaining absolute equality among multiple wives. As a result, the Quran extols monogamy as the preferred marital arrangement. The perception of polygamy in Islam varies across diverse Muslim communities and among scholars. Certain Muslims advocate for it as a provision that could be necessary in specific situations, such as caring for widows or orphans in need of support. Conversely, others contend that it's an antiquated practice and that monogamy aligns more closely with the Quran's overarching emphasis on impartiality and justice. Crucially, it's important to comprehend that while Islam allows for polygamy, it doesn't mandate it, and not all Muslim men choose to practice it. Numerous countries with Muslim-majority populations have regulations governing polygamy, and some have outright prohibited it. Furthermore, it's imperative to recognize that Islamic teachings underscore the sanctity of marriage, affection, respect, and mutual understanding between spouses, whether the marital arrangement is monogamous or polygamous.